The position and images that you see before you are from a PA oblique projection, also known as a scapular Y, or a lateral shoulder. For this specific position, the patient is going to be in either an RAO or LAO position. The body of the scapula forms the vertical component of the Y, and the chromium and the coracoid processes form the upper limbs. This projection is useful in evaluation of suspected shoulder dislocations. For this position, position the patient and the anterior surface of the shoulder against the upright bucky. Rotate the patient so that the mid-coronal plane forms an angle of approximately 45 to 60 degrees to the IR. Position the center of the IR at the level of the scapulohumeral joint. Shield the gonads and suspend respiration for the image. On an additional note, this can also be performed in an LPO or RPO position, but do note that that will result in magnification of the scapula. This image demonstrates a PA oblique shoulder joint showing an anterior dislocation. The next couple of slides will show different images and views of getting an inferior or superior axial projection of the shoulder joint. This particular image shows the Lawrence method, an inferior superior projection. For positioning of the Lawrence method, as much as possible, abduct the arm of the affected side at right angles so the long axis of the body. Keep the humerus in external rotation if possible and adjust the forearm and hand in a comfortable position. You may wish to have the patient turn the head away from the side being examined so the IR can be placed against the neck. Then, place the IR on an edge against the shoulder as close as possible to the neck. Support the IR with whatever means necessary, such as sandbags or a vertical IR holder. For the central ray, direct it horizontally through the axilla of the AC articulation. The degree of medial angulation is often between 15 and 30 degrees. The greater the abduction, the greater the angle. This inferior superior axial projection is called the West Point method. It is very similar to the method we just seen, except for the patient position. Once again, you'll want to abduct the arm of the affected side 90 degrees and rotate so that the forearm rests over the edge of the table or the bucky tray. Direct the central angle at a dual angle of 25 degrees anteriorly from the horizontal and 25 degrees medial. The central ray should exit the glenoid cavity. Using the West Point method, the following images should be produced. This last projection, the superior inferior axial projection, is often referred to as the Cleves method. For this, Place the IR near the end of the table. Have the patient lean laterally over the IR until the shoulder joint is over the midpoint of the IR. Bring the elbow to rest at the table and place the hand in the prone position. Have the patient tilt the head toward the unaffected shoulder. Have the central ray be angled 5 to 15 degrees through the shoulder joint and towards the elbow. The greater the angle is required when the patient cannot extend the shoulder over the IR. And just one last reminder, always shield the gonads and suspend respiration. If you look below the positioning, you can see the image that would be produced.